So we're here to British Euros and Years Summer Signings, Caitlin and Isabel. So guys, you've been for a few weeks now at the British National Centre. How are you finding it so far? Uh, yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously it's been tough, but uh, yeah, I'm like ready to get stuck in and training, yeah. Yeah, it's been really challenging, but I've enjoyed it. And the girls have been really welcoming and yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. So now you guys are here at this, uh, the top, sort of top level in sort of GB Judo. Just give us a little insight into sort of how you got to this position, sort of where you started from club level and sort of came up through the, the ranks. Yes, yeah, so I started when I was about eight. Um, um, a coach came to my primary school and did like some after school like lessons and it kind of went from there. I started training um, at the club and yeah, I just kind of went from there really, started competing and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, um, I did loads of clubs when I was younger, like different sports and judo just stuck um, and then I worked my way up and ended up at Gatehead Judo Club with Chloe and then that closed down and then I started at Middlesbrough and then progressed to here. Good. So obviously now it's at the British National Centre there's a lot more sort of opportunities uh, in different areas. Also we've got full time SNC, nutrition, uh, psych and there's a lot more opportunities for camps and competitions abroad. So what's your sort of goals sort of back end of this year and sort of going into next year in terms of competitions and development? Um, so it's go I'm going to my last year junior, so I want to start um, meddling at junior like Europeans and yeah, picking up medals and placings there. Um, and then also trying to get into like, um, like start, uh, get like positions at Worlds like and European competitions and stuff. But yeah, they're like just improving my training really. Yeah, and um, the training loads a lot more. Um, I think we're doing a lot more camps towards the back end of the year, and then next year be competing for me and looking to pick up some European medals. So you guys are obviously part of one of the sort of best women's groups, training groups in the world. Uh, names such as sort of Gemma Howe, European champion, Lucy, world number one, and, and Chelsea, obviously Olympic bronze medalist. I remember when I first joined the centre eight years ago. Uh, some of the guys there, like Aidan Moffat, Lewis Kibel, really had a big influence on sort of my training, sort of going forward. So how have sort of the girls helped you and aided you these sort of last few weeks since you guys started? Um, I mean, all the girls have been so welcoming, like for us both, yeah. yeah. Really made us like settle in well. Um, like today in the session, um, I was like struggling with a few things and uh, Lucy was really helping me, making me feel better, giving me some like tips and stuff about what I could like improve on. I mean, like she started off at the centre the same way as like I am now and you've gone to see what she's achieved. Like I like kind of aspire to be like that and go on to do the same things really. Yeah, for me, um, I really look up to Chelsea at the centre and it's amazing, like she's took me off like and done a bit of knee wazzard drilling with me and helped me with that and yeah, it's amazing to have Olympic bronze medalists help you out like that, yeah. It both came from successful clubs, uh, how's that relationship look between you and your so old coaches from your clubs through your careers, how do they help sort of transition you now to the centre? So how are you going to keep in contact with them on that? Yeah, so my coach has been really um, supportive. I mean, Andy's been through with me through all my judo career. It's really helped me like become like the athlete where I am now. Um, and obviously, Seth, he's like he went through this uh, through the centre as a coach. So yeah, I'm really like grateful for all the support that they've given me. And yeah, I know they're always going to be there. Um, so they're still going to be really involved in my like judo career. So yeah. Yeah, for me, I've trained with Chloe for almost ten years. And we have a really great relationship. Um, and then she's had to close down the club and I train with Garth now at Middlesbrough Judo Club and he's really supportive and helped me get the position at the centre and have a really great relationship with both of them. They're both heavily involved within my judo career and yeah, they're always there to call and support. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us today, guys. Uh, great insight and wish you the best for the back end of the year. Cool, thank thanks. you.